look, for 17 years, they've been underground living a COVID-like existence, social distancing. But in the 17th year, they come up usually at nightfall. They make a mad dash to the trunk of a tree or another vertical structure. Their exoskeleton or skin splits open and the beautiful adult cicada comes out. the noise? Yes. yes. It's really cool. What does it sound like? It sort of sounds like a cat purring. What do you think it sounds like, Zoe? Um, I can make the sound. You can? Do you like, do you like these guys? Um, no. Um, I got bugs at home. They look ugly and they're scary and um, they they just look nasty. I was fully terrified of them. Uh, I've never been a fan of bugs in the yard since I was about five. So uh, to see giant, what I thought were enormous bugs kind of swarming my life, my backyard, you know, the bus stop, I thought was terrifying. I always really liked them. I found them to be very fascinating creatures. They look crazy and I just think it's so cool to see them leave their exoskeleton and turn albino and then change color. So I remember playing with them a lot when I was younger. I think now my fascination has turned into to more of a culinary thing. Like I like to see how they taste and, and how you can prepare them. But also it's, it's just lovely to have new sounds and, and to see something different in the yard. A lot of people were very worried about them coming out and it was a slow trickle and then boom, you wake up one morning and they're all over your trees and the cars and the bushes and everything that you hold sacred outside. <laughs> I think there's some, some kids there that are really relatable on that video, um, <laughs> me included. Uh, I think everyone has mixed feelings about the cicadas and so it's just another distraction after a hard year. So I think Absolutely. everyone's happy to, to look at some cicadas. <laughs>